I don't know who's talking. Lucy, where's Lucy? Where did you come from? Um, I was like a kid all the time. You were here the whole time. Lucy's been here the whole time. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, Lucy, hey. what are you doing over here? No, oh, we're supposed to make a video. <gasps> That's right. It is our Saturday, isn't it? Well, then maybe we should. Welcome everybody to our Saturday story of love. That's so, as always, we would like to welcome everybody. We have Sophia and Lucy, and we have some extra guests today. We'll very carefully lift up our friends here. We have Bernard, who is Sophia's elf, and we have George, who is Sophia's off-brand elf. We bought him at the dollar store. Mm -hmm. um, don't touch Bernard. So... We're going to have a little talk about, um, our book today is called, Where is God? I Don't See Him. Um, and it's a story about a little girl named Michaela who was having a very hard time seeing God. So where do you think God is? Up in the sky and mm -hmm. above us. Perfect. How about you, Lucy? Um, I don't know, but I think I'm going to go with Sophia. You think you're going to go with Sophia? Hey. Oh, hold on. Scooby is getting into Sophia's, uh, snacks okay. over here. And, and Scooby has joined us. Um. Okay, so how about we read the book, we find out where he is, and then we talk about it and see if we're right. Yeah. All right, sounds good. Okay, so, as I said, this is Where is God? Hey, Mom, I've looked all over, and I can't find him. Who can't you find, Michaela? I can't find God. Yes, <clears throat> you always tell me that God is with me, right? Yes, Michaela, he's always with you. So why don't I see him? I looked under my bed, and I didn't see him. I looked in my closet, and I didn't see him. Then I thought, maybe God's outside. Maybe he's by the flowers. But when I looked and dug into the ground, all I found was flowers and dirt. Mom, I looked all day, but I didn't find God. I'm starting to wonder if he's real or not. I know it might be hard to understand, but God is very real. Sometimes the things you can't see with your eyes can mean more than the things you can see. Let's take a walk. Michaela, do you feel my love for you? Yes. Can you see my love for you? No, I can't see it. Can you feel the wind in your hair? Yes, I can feel the wind, but can you see the wind? Well, that's not necessarily true because sometimes you can't see the wind when it rustles the trees. Right. No, I can't see it. Michaela, do you see the stars in the sky? Yes, Mom, I see the pretty stars. Can you see what's holding the stars? No, I can't see what's holding them either, but I know someone is. I believe God is holding the stars. I believe God holds me just like he holds the stars. He holds you too. Wow, God is really big to hold all the stars. Yes, he is. God is big. And even when you don't see him, know that he is very close. He loves you. Thanks, Mom. I think I get it. Just because I can't see God the way I think I should doesn't mean he isn't real. Mom, do you think it's okay if I still look for him? Absolutely, Michaela. God loves when you look for him. Just know that he may look different than you expect. Look for him on a rainy day, a sunny day. Look for him when you're happy and look for him when you're sad. He's always around. Mom, that's good to know, but I have a lot of questions about him. Michaela, I love your questions about, and God loves them too. Let's find those answers together. So what do you think with some of her questions about why she can't see God? Just because, so what do you think? Wait, so do you think God's everywhere now? Yeah. How about you, Lucy? You still thinking that? Mm, yeah. But I disagree. I think we can see the wind. Cause I really want to fix this thingy. You're going to fix the thingy? Well, we hope you enjoyed our Saturday story of love. It was kind of a short one today, but I thought it was a really good story because I think that it's very important that we know that no matter what, 
whether we can see him or not, that God is always around. What do you think? All right. Are you kids ready to sign off? Because we are going to go visit our friends for a little while. And tomorrow, and what are we doing tomorrow night? Tomorrow night, we're going to go visit the Christmas cabaret. So we hope you and see. we're going to church. Tomorrow night, we go to the church. Well, the Christmas cabaret is at church. We hope we see you all tomorrow night at the Christmas cabaret. And we will see you all in a couple of weeks. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.